Yo, yo, it's Max, and it's the end of day 16 of AI Sprint. So in the last days, I had a pretty nasty stomach bug. I haven't been posting as many vlog updates, but it hasn't stopped me from building. First up, let's talk about launched projects. So the chat with Notion database project is out. That ended up having two parts. One was a knowledge base, and the other one was a generator. So it takes any Notion database schema and then outputs a working NADN workflow for that specific Notion database. Both of those are available for free download on the NADN template library. I also managed to hack together a Flux image generator overnight. The thinking behind that was there's a lot of these kind of crappy websites with a lot of ads that let you do this stuff, but they're really slow. At the same time, there's a lot of places that host these models for free, right? Like on Hugging Face with the Inference API, there's dozens of image models and all other kinds of models that you can try. So this was an example of how very quickly in NADN, you can build a template to consume an API endpoint like that and ship it with a bit of a UI. So there's user experience for yourself. It also has a style setting, which changes the pre-prompt that's fed in. So it's a nice little pattern that you can see how you might do something like that yourself. Again, it doesn't have to be style. You could feed in any pre-prompts. It could be a type of brand. Maybe you have different products that you need to create images for. So that should be a pretty useful template that's available for download now. And it also shows how you can flip all the different models available. I shipped it as a flux generator, but it should let you interact with any model hosted on the Hugging Face Inference API. All you need to do is just update the URL. So make sure to check that one out. And please send me your images, especially if it's of bears behaving badly. There's also an update on Email Spy, which is the project I'm working on with Oscar. Oscar basically proposed some changes to the API endpoint. Um, we're gonna be sending back the website where that email was found, makes a lot of sense. So I gotta update the documentation for that. And Oscar asked me to look into some SERP APIs, that is search engine results pages. I'm looking at Brave Search right now because it's got an amazing free tier. Since I'm gonna have to build a tool for that, SERP is as part of Email Spy, I'll probably release a template showing how you could use uh, a Brave Search tool in an AI agent. You got a demo workflow set up with that to basically unblock Oscar so he can keep building as I focus on some of the other projects. And then tomorrow I'm heading to Prague for the first community events out there. And my colleague Olaf, who lives there, is gonna be at the event. He actually built the majority of the AI features in NNN so far. And so after the event, Oleg and I are gonna spend a day building with AI. I'm really excited about that opportunity, of course, because that means the AI Sprint just got a full day of a full stack engineer, and I don't know how much we pay him, but that can't be cheap. I also wanna give a big shout out to Wayne Simpson and Adam Thanos, both community members who've been inspired by the AI Sprint and now building alongside with me. That's honestly made my week. It's so motivating to get feedback like that. Again, if you watched the first update video, that's why I started this. It's not for likes and clicks, it's to get people building and to feel that flowgramming feeling. So thank you so much for your support, guys. So the moral of the story is be like Wayne and be like Adam. I hope you enjoyed this update. Make sure to catch the next one as we're taking the AI sprint on the road and heading to Prague. <laughs>